you know, go to Nexus Mod, etc. Go to Files, Install, Mano, Mano Download. After that, you will receive this. Make sure also wherever you put this download that you just got, put it exactly where your Elden Ring is installed in, like the driver. So if you have it on your local C drive, you're gonna put the Graceborn somewhere in your C drive. If it's on your G, your E, or A, you're gonna put it there. Wherever your Elden Ring is, just make sure it's in the same spot. It's a lot easier that way. Um, but yeah, you will have this. It's gonna be a zip file and basically gonna extract here, which I already did. Once you've done that, you will get this Graceborn A02. You're gonna click on that. Right here, it will say how to install. First, up in the top, it says make sure your game is set in English. So you're gonna to have to go to Steam and make sure it's set in English. If you have it, you know, illegally, <laughs> you're gonna to have to figure that out on your own. But after you get that in English, to avoid any issues, make sure it's in English. The next thing you're going to do is inside the game, either before you start playing Graceborn or, um, or after. You're going to go to your settings on there and you're going to look for the ray tracing and make sure it's turned off or your game will be lagging, frame, frame dropping or anything like that. Uh, so make sure that's off. Um, the, the first step is exactly what I said earlier. Make sure it's in the same spot where your um or the same drive where your Elden Ring is. Not the folder, just the same drive. The next step I didn't do when I installed this. I kind of like rushed it. <laughs> but the next step is go to your Elden Ring game folder. So you're gonna go to Steam, right click, manage, right click on Elden Ring, manage, and then you're gonna go to browse local files. And that should open up where Elder Ring is installed. And you're gonna go inside movies. And it says you have to make a, a backup file of the 100, 110 file. Like I said, I didn't do this, but basically I think what you will want to do is just copy this, right? Maybe go back to like Elder Ring, like on your, path part like over here where your url basically is what i like to call it you're gonna go back to the elder ring side and just make a folder which i already did i made it back a movie just to show you because i didn't do this and then click on there and just paste that 100 110 file because it does replace it i just didn't do that so this is like this is not the original one but yours would be an original one here just in case you need it i'm not really too sure but that's that. That's step two. Which again, I didn't do that part. Oops. <laughs> step three, you're going to go to where you have Graceborn. You're going to go inside your game folder. And then you're going to copy everything in here. And then now, you're going to go back to where you have Elder Rings installed. So you're going, you know, like I said, Steam, Elder Ring, right click, manage. Browse local files and it will give you this. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna paste it. I already done that. So we're gonna do it again just for purposes. And like I said, it does replace movie as you can see. So I think that's why um that's a thing. Wait, right? they wanted you to uh back up that one file. But yeah, you pretty much got that. And also the grease born reshade, I believe. This is it. All that stuff. All right, so that's step, what is that? Step three. Step four, now you're gonna go back to your Graceborn and then you're gonna go to Config Elden Ring. You know, click on that. I already changed this as well. But I believe, let's just say random nonsense here, right? It should look something like a path here and then mod scripts data. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go back to your Graceborn design where everything is, like your launch mod and all that stuff. You're gonna go on the top where my mouse is. This is your path, or what I like to call it, the URL. You're gonna right click it, copy address as text, and you're gonna go back to that config file. So where the quotation mark is, so we're gonna be focusing on this right here, where the quotation mark is right after that. And just before the slashes of the mod, like those two slashes, 
this is where you're going to pace your path. We're almost there. Now, um, what we want to do here, you see how these have two slashes, but the ones you just paste don't? So we're just going to correct that. Now we're going to add another slash, another slash, whatever you need. Just make sure all the slashes has two slashes next to them. I don't know if you can see that. But two slash, two slash, two slash. Like I said, make sure you didn't remove the quotation mark or anything. Make sure if you by accident overstepped and uh, replaced your slashes where it said uh, mod, make sure you add it. Because sometimes I do that by accident or I've seen people do that by accident where they'll like replace the slashes and then forgot to add the slash back. But that's why I said um, quotation mark all the way to the first two slash or behind the two slashes of mod. So right here is where you're going to paste your stuff. And that's pretty much it for that. And you're going to just hit save. I believe we're done with the config. Step five, I, this is optional. I personally don't do this, but you can do this as well. I don't have reshade anymore. I don't, don't think so. I can't really like tell you how to do that, but that's step five. Reshade is just to change the colors to make it look, you know, I was supposed to be either more grimy, more darker. You know, set the vibes. And then step six is run launch mod. I had an issue when I had to do launch mod, which I'll probably crop the other part where I figured out what I had to do. Okay, so if you click on launch mod after clicking on how to install, you did everything to do correct. Um, and you're clicking on launch mod to launch the mod and only a black box appears, but no game appears, nothing else appears. Uh, you want to right click a launch mod Elder Ring Bat, click on edit. I already edited it. Um, I will say this will be here, but there will be like one more path or one more line here. Like I said, I already edited it, so I don't know what it really said per chance, but you're going to pretty much minimize that notepad and you're going to go back to Nexus mod for Graceborn and you're going to go through the post section. I'm probably going to edit all of this stuff, but since I had to go through this, I'm leaving this here and you're going to just find this box that says this basically almost the same thing, which we already have this here. We're not worried about that. What you're going to do, you're going to copy all of this here. These two last lines You're going to copy that. And in that notepad, I said, you're going to leave these here. You're just going to worry about whatever you guys had here, which I don't remember. So whatever that's below this, just highlight it, delete it, and then paste what you just copied. Now here, we just have to change the path because this is someone else's path. So you're going to have this folder up where you downloaded Graceborn at, whatever it is. And the first thing you're going to look for is the Mod Engine 2 Launcher, which is right here. What you're going to do is you're going to go on top where the path is, where I like to call a URL. You're going to right click it and copy as text. Once you copy a text, just before, or just before the slash, you're going to go all the way over here. And just after the quotation mark, you're going to paste what you just copied. And now it will say your path slash the mod engine to launcher. Just make sure you still have the quotation in the front. So the next step, we're going to follow along this path. This path is where the game is. But before we do that, since we already have it all in one slot, you're going to go to the last one where it is looking for the config Elder Ring, which is in the same spot. It would be this one. So what are you going to do? The same thing. After the quotation mark, you know, follow along all the way until the slash where it says config. And then you're going to paste that same path. Now you have yours, then the slash between, and then config. Hopefully that makes sense. Just make sure it has the slash between the quotations here and there. So for the middle one, the reason why I left this last because you have to go somewhere else, since we already have the two paths in the same spot. This one is looking for Elder Ring. So if you have it installed on Steam, you're gonna open up Steam, right-click Elder Ring, 
go to manage and browse local files once you do that you know click inside game and obviously this is what it's looking for where the game is you know right click the top url copy as text again we're gonna do the same thing so from c all the way to game just before the slash you're gonna paste it there after that you're gonna hit save and now you should be able to launch launch mild eldering bat it just needs to locate where everything is so that's if you have that issue this is my second time having this issue for gaseborn but the mod should work right after that